Today is a fine day. Isn't it my star? To think we would get to meet. Even though it's been so busy, I... I understand. It's not been easy for either of us in these trying times. But I appreciate your company. It helps me get through the day and I... My birthday? I did not think of such things. In fact, I actually forgot about it myself. Please do not worry about such trivial matters. I enjoy your company. That's more than enough for me. I... Well, you do raise a valid point. I suppose that it is indeed a healthy and quite becoming ceremony. I... I wouldn't be opposed to having a belated birthday. But are you sure, my star? Are you sure this is what you want to do? We could just as easily keep it between you and I, and have it be a, a, a secret just between us. I, I do suppose that sharing the happiness with others is quite the celebration. In fact, it would make others be quite inclined to smile themselves. In that way, I agree. Your deduction is quite adequate. Uh, I know this is probably out of place, but I wrote you something nice. It may not seem like much, but I was thinking of you. My star through the sky, I gaze at you and feel my heart a flutter through and through. And as I wait upon this dear night, I'll see it through and meet with you so together we could be heroes for all the world to see. <laughs> it was just on the spot, and it's probably quite amateurish, but... I thought of you, and therefore I shared it. I owe it to you. It is my duty as your... as your love. As your... future husband someday. I cannot be backing down on things that would make you happy or feel special. I must take my job dutifully and seriously at that. In fact, I... I feel so strongly about you, I feel like my air chopping has been more on point these days. Uh, sorry if that's a bit personal. What? I mean, yes, my air chopping has its draws and, and fallbacks, unfortunately. There's a lot of things that it, it does well and, and many things that... Look at me again. Doing it so earnestly, it's kind of embarrassing. Not that I think you mind, it's just... Well, as a member of the the Eda family, I, I feel it might be a sort of defining trait. Even my grandmother and her mother before her, and my father and his many fathers before him, they... They did the chop, so it makes me wonder if it's hereditary. Either way, my star, let us be off. We've much to prepare for. I isn't that right? Why, yes, my star. I've tried very, very much so. To give you my utmost and... Oh, you didn't mean about that. Ah, I see. Question of errands. I... Well, I suppose if I could have any meal, it would be a traditional Japanese meal. Particularly, I'm a bit weak. It's embarrassing, but... I rather love takoyaki. I know, it's a bit of a... There's... One other. One other that we must have. 
Taiaki as well. Maybe sushi is in order, but the only problem is, as I have had it many times, there's such a discrepancy between it that I... Ah, what am I saying? One cannot prepare for everything. Let's just try it. <laughs> My star. Just seeing you is enough to make me so happy to live another year. I know I must talk like I'm so old, and yet I'm only just approaching adulthood. It doesn't seem as so, though, as my responsibilities of the Eda name. They all seem like so much at times. I regret none of it, as my family and you give me strength and make me feel as though my efforts are not in vain. So thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Even if at times I can be somewhat difficult to deal with. I trust you, and I love you so very much. Thank you for all you do. I... I know it sounds as though I feel indebted, but it's not that. I just love you so, and I didn't know how else to put it. It is normal, is it not, to say such things? Uh, over the top. I suppose that that's one way of looking at it. I am quite tall, after all, and... Oh, you meant it in a different way. I see. I have much to study and work on. But I'm glad it doesn't bother you. Am I always like this? <laughs> I suppose it's in my blood. Or maybe just my heart. Just like you, my star. I want you to know the only gift I want is your presence. Your time, and if I might be so bold, your love. There is so much we could do on my birthday, but the actual action of it matters less than you being there. So we can come up with something as we go. I know, never thought I would be saying to go in unprepared. But I suppose it's a very special occasion. We must simply do as we must. Otherwise, we'll end up boring and wasting time doing planning. And the last thing I want to do is bore you. <laughs> Though it is telling that you've stuck with me through thick and thin thus far. I am honestly surprised. But at the same time, not. Ever since we were mere classmates, I saw something special in you. I wanted to write something way back then, but didn't have the courage. And these days, I, I see you in a new light. You are my star. Just as I aspire to be the best I possibly can for my family and you. You always seem to find new ways to bring about change that I never thought of. Opportunity where I didn't see it. You have changed my life and made this already the most happy of birthdays I've ever had. What? Is it pretentious to say that? I didn't mean it as such, only that your company and even having such a conversation with you has been truly telling. It's taught me something about myself and about what I want to do and be in the future. Also, I... Well... I've been thinking. Maybe it's time we do something completely out of the box. 
something far different than before. There must be something that jumps out at you. I've been thinking to myself, and what I'd like to do with you is speak and have a time that... Well, we've done that. But I still want to do something special as well. Yes, I... I understand. It is only that I... I'm a bit flustered is all. Having you so near me is quite special, to say the least. I love you, and that sometimes works against me, I fear. My birthday is, well, historically something that I've not looked forward to, but with my star here, I feel like that may change. So what say you we go out and explore? I'll give you a piggyback ride and show you what I can do when I rev my engines up. Well, it's a gift to me to have you by my side. My star, I was thinking that. Did you hear that? We have company. Do you have any idea who it could be? Hmm. Let's go see. Hello? How's it going, Ida? I thought I'd visit today. Since last time, things got kind of muddled. You... Isuku? It's truly a birthday miracle to see you again. I knew those horrible events couldn't be linked to you. And to see you now, it must mean so much. I... I'm speechless. Don't be speechless yet. There's a lot we have to talk about. But I'll save it for after the birthday party. Most everything's okay. I just wanted to come here and, well, I was invited by a certain someone. You said you'd been looking for me. I hope you don't mind. Why, of course not. And behind you, that looks like... Of course I'd be here, dumbass. You don't actually think I wouldn't be. You're my friend, I guess. Thank you. To think I have so many friends, I... Don't be forgetting me now. Things are just getting interesting. We gotta keep things beautiful. My, it's become such an ordeal. I didn't expect this in the slightest. But I'm honored that you all came. I... Thank you. I really didn't think it was this big of a deal. But to think I'd get to see so many... Wonderful faces. I feel honored, my friends. And to you, my star. Thank you for gathering them, as I know you likely did. Things are going to be a bit more lively than planned. Let us be off. You all can wait in the guest lounge. See you soon, Ida. We'll see you soon, okay? Get back soon. As I was saying, this is unexpected, but lovely. <laughs> A kiss is but the least I can do to my champion. <laughs> is it too much? I wonder about that. Judging by your reaction, something tells me it's not enough. 
What? I'm nothing if not studious. And I tend to learn when I've made, well, errors in my judgment or perhaps miscalculations. And along with that, I intend to give it my best, as I would with heroism, as I have in the past. You have been nothing if not a telling engagement. I don't mean to suffice you as merely a hobby or obsession. You are far more than that, my star. You are my everything. If I could allow you to be so much. Sometimes I feel guilty that I'm relying upon you too much. And yet, here we are, living our lives together, experiencing life as we will at any spare moment. A world that we've built, at least in part. Being heroes, and having such limited time, it is both endearing as well as troublesome. I long for more time with you, and it makes me anxious. Even when doing heroism, and the anxiety that I held for Izuku's situation, I... I don't know what to make of it. It's nothing compared to what anxiety I felt for you. Whenever you'd tell me you're out on a, a job, I'd... I'd worry about you. Even if it's not heroism in the traditional right. It's still dangerous. You've done more than your charge would have you. And that alone makes me concerned. Not that I don't believe in you. Not in the slightest would I ever doubt. But rather, you who has so much in terms of your, your heart, in terms of who you are, I can only imagine what it's like for you in the field when you encounter someone truly heinous. It makes me dread it. I wish them upon myself before you. And even still, I'd like us both to be able to avoid them. But duty cannot be so easily shucked. We must remain vigilant, and I know that. And yet still here I am. Worrying as I may be. Impassioned and empowered by your own aura about you. It all makes me feel as though I can do so much more, that I've only just scratched the surface of, well, how I can make you safer and more happy. The concept of seeing you wounded or sad, it aches painfully. There's nothing further I'd like to distance than pain and suffering for you. And I've seen you struggle. It wounds me. And yet still, I... I must admit, sometimes I do not handle it the best. My faults are my own, and yet, still, I find myself trickling back to them, the problems of which should no longer bother, and yet, well, as you can see, I have much to learn. And while I may be just one man, one hero in the world, I cannot suffice to get comfortable with that so long as my charge and duty remain. I will see this world better for our future and the future of our kin, if we so choose to have them. I mean, it's 
not so cut and dry. There are many ways to approach a problem, and I personally think the best way to handle something of this caliber is to take one's time and truly, truly, do not rush such things. It would be an injustice, a disservice, to try and rush something like that. Yes, I'm well aware. Not everything is so easily made. As such, I... I think I just... I simplify it. So that I can better accommodate. I'm sorry, my star. If there is anything that you dislike about my conduct, you need only say, I strive to improve myself. And I feel as though sometimes my direct approach leads to inadequacies that I must handle on my own. And yet, having your insight is invaluable to me. And I swear by the... No. I've put family too far ahead of things. I swear on my heart that I will take good care of you, my star, as you have done for me. What? Does it surprise you? I may still be learning, but I won't remain clueless for long. I've been studying you to no end. And while things might slip under my radar, I think I've understood you more and more these days. It's been refreshing. Though I am sorry about the time when I accidentally read your diary in front of my parents. It was not intentional, I assure you. As well as, well... Thank you for forgiving me. Yes, uh, let's let the, the, the bad memories go. There's far more fascinating, uh, becoming memories in there. You know, this all strikes me as surreal. As I've been living my life, it's all gone by in a blur. A strange melancholy mixed with duty, mixed with selflessness. But with you, all I can think of is I want to be selfish. So, what do you say? What say we stand them up? Those who came, they can come and enjoy the hospitality of the Ada family. But as for us, we'll get lost in a detour. How about that, my star? If you agree, then hop on my back and we'll be off. But don't blame me if we get earnestly lost. Though I suppose, if anyone I could wish to be lost away, stole away at sea, or otherwise a wanderer, it would certainly be with you. What? Are you surprised with something so obvious? Or all I think about? Of course, I think of many other things than just simply the implications of such notion. No. I try and view it from the bottom of my heart so that my logic and reasoning does not get in my way. I won't let anything stop me from reaching you. Please, come with me, and let us see how much trouble we can get in. <laughs> Not like me. Well, I can't have you thinking I'm that predictable. Isn't that right, my star? Now, all aboard, and off we go. 
It never tires me of having you this close. Hold on tight. I'm going to switch up a gear. Don't blame me if you fall down. I'll pick you up, of course, before you hit the ground. Let's see, left or right? And... What could this be? I've never seen it before. Have you? Could this be... an arcade of sorts? No. It looks completely different. Why? I've never seen anything like it. A... a VR arcade. What a strange concept. Do people truly spend their time in virtual reality? Are there truly those who have that much time? Well, it's no matter. There is plenty. Plenty we can do from where we are. And... What? I suppose we could try it. It's just the concept of virtual reality it can be quite intimidating to someone as, I suppose, grounded as myself in the world around us. I, I simply lack the insight that someone who grew up around it would have. Unfortunately, my parents didn't let me own any video games, so I am rather naive in terms of them. You may have a point. Perhaps there's something I didn't even know I was good at. In VR as well. It's worth a shot. Gears hoping I don't look too silly. A VR MMO, you say? I've never heard of something like that. It almost sounds like you're trying to spell moo like a cow. Nothing of the sort, you say? Then I suppose I have much to study. It's a virtual world to explore and have fun. It sounds delightful, provided that we don't get lost in it. I see. Well, I suppose it will be something. Something to try out. Perhaps I can be your knight. As I have always wanted to. Is that too embarrassing? I... I just want to save you, my star. Even if you don't need the saving. It's just my overwhelming love for you. It always makes me want to strive for more. Please. I understand. Let us give it a try, then. I know not what we can do, but it's sure to be fun. Right? <laughs> Trying new things is practically a birthday uh, staple. And as for the rest of it, sharing a memory with you means more than all the rest. You are my love, and the one who shines above them all. And for that, even if you asked me to go on a extremely motion-sick-inducing theme park ride, I, I, I'd try it, and likely feel the weight of my mistakes all the more. I am certain whether I fail miserably or I do fine. We'll have some fun at it and enjoy our day together. It's already been such a happy birthday. And besides, we'll have time at the end to meet up with everyone. But for now, I just want to spend it with you. And, well, I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't excited just a bit, not a little intimidated. 
Well, I guess I'll see you on the other side. What is strange? Oh, it looks like you're here too. Mind explaining to me what all these screens are? A menu. Brilliant. I wish I had one in real life. And I can just... Oh, would you look at that? A... Ladle. Is this my first weapon as a knight? A mighty ladle. It sounds the part, does it not? Hit the question mark button and... I see. So it has... 0.5 attack. Is that good? Well, it... It has a usable effect. Apparently, it can dish out soup. Wait a moment. That sounds notoriously like a normal ladle. Could it be I've been bamboozled? Oh. I see you have a fork. Though, I question what I'm going to be able to do with the ladle. Uh, it, it's all right. Perhaps if I swing it hard enough with my quirk, I could... My quirk is gone. This is truly disorienting. Because walking feels so different without... Well... The, the speed, or the option thereof. I feel much slower. But perhaps since our... Avatars are designed on ourselves. We have uh, decent specs. I read somewhere that you call them uh, spec points, isn't that right? Ah, my mistake, my star. It was status values. Very well. Then I'll check mine. It looks like I have a solid eight in speed. How about you, my love? Sixteen. Marvelous. Though I hardly think I can keep up. Impressive. Wait a moment. It seems like most of my stats are sitting quite diminishing. Is that normal? I see. So it's made me into a chef, not a knight. I'll need to work on that. Perhaps this ladle can see justice today. Oh, look. I believe that's a slime. We must take it down. I will do so for you. As your knight, uh, or, or chef, in this case. Uh, your future knight. I will... Oh, it seems like you've already gotten it. That's quite the fork you have there. Impressive. Now let me try on this one. Have at thee, slime. Huh! What? It just bounced off. Perhaps I need to try again. Huh. It's not working. Is there something I must do to attack it? Uh, I see. So, it takes quite a bit of tax to... Oh. Uh. Looks like the slime isn't too fond of the idea. Let me show you what I've got. Huh. Die, you slime ball. You are a disgrace to the family name. Well, I, I know it's not. That's not the point. It's still a disgrace to some family name somewhere. Y yes. P perhaps it is an excuse. Uh, we won't know till we find out. No. Star, don't do this. 
I, I can handle this on my own. I, ugh. it doesn't matter. I will take on this beast and show you I can be your knight in time. What, ugh. what do you mean? Ugh. You mean there is an easier way, but I, I just need to go to the class Instructor? But still, I must prove my mettle as a man. It is a battle of honor. This slime will go down. You have mocked me the last time. It's transforming. Is that strange? Does it mean something else? I do not know. Only that... Wait. What is going on? It's... turning into a duck. <coughs> its attacks have become more fearsome. I... Why is it wearing Bakugo's outfit? I... I can't take much more of this. Taste ladle, you fiend. This... Bakugo duck... It's nearly got me at zero HP. What do I do? Must I run? No. I will defeat you, fiendish duck. Have at thee! I fear... I can only take a few more hits. Is there anything I can do? I will stay vigilant. Unto the end. I... <coughs> what is this? I... can't move. Surely it's not... Oh. Thank you for your aid. I didn't expect to fail so soon, but I suppose it's the predecessor of learning, so it may have been inevitable. But still, it besmirched my honor, and I must have my revenge, or at least show you that I am a capable knight. I... perhaps it would be easier to go about it without, well, without the hindrance of this pesky ladle. But now I feel I must redeem myself with none other than the same ladle that damned me here already. Come, I will show you how ladles can be used. Oh yes, there you are. Fiend, prepare yourself. Not so fast. You won't catch me with that again. I did it. Did you see me? I... I succeeded. The ladle has known victory, and it will taste victory again. I will be deemed the Ladle Knight. Well, I... Yes, it's not my coolest idea or anything. It just... I wasn't thinking of a better name. I... 
Look, I, I can explain. I... I still have a ways to go. I'll switch tonight later. Or maybe I could switch tonight and use my ladle. What do you mean you don't like the idea of this? Isn't it fantastic? No? Then what can I do to make it so? Well, I wouldn't want to wear the ladle on my head. That would be... Terrible, in fact. Well, you know what, uh, I... Never mind. Onward to the village. Isn't that where you said we can get more of a experience of things? I never thought of it. But it might be interesting to stay the night in a VR. Uh... A, a virtual reality hotel. I've never even thought of it being a possibility. Though the sensations here... It... It's like being alive. I... I almost couldn't tell it was... False until... I didn't die from the... Accursed dock. Well... And the fact that I had a ladle and not... A noble, valiant sword. Named, uh... Tenya Ida. Well, I figured it must have my name on it. That way, if I misplace it, someone could very easily find it and return it. They would do what? They would steal precious Tenya Ida from me. That would be... Most unscrupulous. How do they sleep at night? Or are they like the fiend? The Bakuduk? I cannot let them have their way. For great adventure. We'll set out after this. Uh, excuse me. Room for two, please. Uh, j just, just one. Thank you. Off we go, my star. Let us see what it's like. It's strangely comforting being away from the real world of heroes and villains, and being in one that simply has a unified force against the villains, or even where the villains aren't villains at all, but a different faction. I greatly enjoy this different world. I thank you for showing it to me. I <clears throat> talk too much. Well, I suppose I do. Though it depends upon which with the solitude that's offered here. Don't worry. We'll make it back in time for the party. And so what if we're not there on time? I'm sure it won't be that late. My star, I've been thinking long and hard. And I want you to have everything that matters to me. You are both my everything and my passion. All at once. Things I will not part on. You can bet your everything on it. I will make you happy. I swear a night's oath to it. I would sooner swallow bubbling hot lava then give in to such sad demands as to give up or to cease when I know full well there is always a way. A way in which we could become even closer. Ah, yes. 
There was the... the subject matter. What will I do? There's a bit of a difficulty with using the ladle and being a, a knight. What do you think I should do? Well, I do feel strongly about that. But the ladle, it's got such sentimental value. It was the very first ladle I've ever laid eyes on in a virtual world. It's perhaps a form of imprinting. And besides, that fiend had it coming. There is more ways than one to cook a duck. No offense to the sentient ones, but... Well, it's a virtual reality. So of course it wasn't real. Instead, I... I was hoping... Hoping that somehow I could find a way to, well, improve upon my ladle skills. You see, I feel as though it's all in the wrist. But a single mistake, a single finger out of position, could mean a painful wrist jerking motion. No, not like that. That. that was certainly not what I meant. <clears throat> Instead, I... I feel like I must combine it with my natural chopping motions. That way the ladle can get the optimum amount of resistance and speed. It's brilliant! I could not have thought of this without your inspiration. Thank you, my star. Shall we be off for our next adventure? I was hoping we could go to the... Well... The very beginning levels. The... Formidable... Slime and Duck... Were both from the starting area. That's... Rather concerning. But I will adapt. Even if my ladle does not carry me through this. My wits will, and... Yes, I'm probably thinking about this too much. Instead, well, would you like to cuddle with me? It's strange how I can feel your warmth radiating. It's like you're actually right beside me. Well, I, I suppose you are, but we're also in VR. So then, what now? Have you enjoyed yourself? I'm glad that you brought me here. It was a new and exciting event. I'd never done it before. And for that reason and that reason alone, I... Well, I constantly want to improve myself, so I... I can't be getting too complacent. And to think I was mostly using leg techniques. Now I must rely equally on arm techniques as well. It leads me to be a more well-rounded hero, I'd imagine. The question is, does this world need heroes like our own? Well, it doesn't truly matter. But if someone asks me to, I'd be happy to slay the evils of this world, too. Well, only if we have time together. If not, then... Of course... It would be difficult. You know... As the day... My birth... This has been much more. More than I dare ever ask for again. And yet... Of course... Things are not always as simple as they seem, but... When it comes to you and I... My star, I... I feel as though we are. There is no reason... To ever be apart... 
As far as I'm concerned, I love you now and forever, my star. Never, ever forget that. <laughs>